Hello and welcome to a world of sirens outside and knocking noises again. Uh, this is the 33rd video in uh, the series Making Simple Flappy Robin for Android using Cocos 2DX and today we're going to try and finish it and get it to the state that it is um, actually on the Play Store. So I'm going to, I've actually broken the rule here and I've actually prepared some code already. And the reason for this is, is I did all the code typing it out in a video earlier and the video must have taken 40 minutes. Um, and the problem is the code is is nothing new. So I have here that we have remember the high score and the game time inside the keys inside the Java layer. Well, we want to save both of those. The game time being how long a player has been playing cumulatively. So these functions work exactly the same way as the get and set of um, effects volume and music volume functions. So I've got game time get game time here as a private. And I'd recommend the codes for download, just download this and paste them in. There's, there's, there's really no point in typing them out. Um, the game time is private because we'd actually need to access that from the C++ layer, but we will need it later on inside this when we're dealing with achievements in the play services. Here we have increment the game time. So every time a game over is called, so a game is over and the player's lost, the game will have been keeping track or the Hello World layer of how long is the player's been playing. This will be sent as seconds here, so it will be in seconds with no decimal places. Um, we'll get the current time in the settings, add those seconds on, and then replace the current time in the settings with that game time here. Similar thing for the high score. We'll send a score. We'll check whether it's bigger than the score already in the settings. If it is, then we'll save it there. And we actually do this check inside the Hello World layer as well with the score being bigger, but we're leaving it we need the function inside the Java as well because when we start implementing online leaderboards we'll need to check the online scores and cross-reference them with our settings in case the, um, the user has freshly installed the app after deleting it at some point and therefore it wouldn't have the newest high score. So that's all that gone into Java, these four functions. Um, they're available for download so if you want to write them out then you've got some reference with the, the, the code files. On then into the C++ code. Let me just close this Java file. Three new functions now. Again, this is absolutely nothing new, so I've prepared it with increment game time JNI, set high score JNI, and get high score JNI. And I really have nothing to say about these apart from the fact you know already how these work because we've done so much on this in past videos anyway. Copying and pasting the code from above and changing the function names was the only thing that was required, and they do exactly what's said the incrementing of the time, setting and getting of the high score. Into GameManager.h, it's the same story again. You remember how we dealt with the music and effects volume, where we have a getter and a setter for those, and we call the JNI layer when the, the uh, program loads to access the settings and store it in these variables. Well, I've done exactly the same thing with high score and down inside here you can see we've got the get high score, the set high score and inside save settings to disk I'm also setting the high score and in load settings from disk setting the high score to whatever we got from the JNI layer. So I'm sorry I've gone through that without typing but it's taken nearly four minutes now to do that and believe me it's a lot longer when I type it out and there is nothing new in this section. If you have any queries then please place a comment. Uh, I don't do that often but it does save a little bit of time. So on to the actual programming part, what's left to do? Well two things. One, we need to show the high score on this high score label and two, we need to be able to increment the cumulative time the player has played. So we'll make a float called game time and what we'll also do is we'll make a new function here called update high score label like so. And then inside hello world scene.cpp at the bottom of the init here I'm going to call that update high score label and I'm also going to set the game time to zero. And then thinking about the game time first we simply want to keep track of how long the player's been playing and then submit that. So what we'll do then is inside the stop game here, we'll reset the game time to zero. But before we do that, we'll call the increment game time JNI with our game time. Now our game time's a float, and the argument here is an int, so it'll be cast to an int, so it'll lose the dec uh, decimals of the seconds, but we don't need anything more than second precision anyway. It's not that 
important. So that's our game time then uh, dealt with. One more thing we need to do, obviously. Oh no, I was going to say reset this to zero, but we've done it here. So the game time then is, is, is fully dealt with. The only thing rem remaining is the high score label. So we'll take the score label function and just do an update high score label like so, change this to best. Um, and here now it's not the game score, but we want the C game manager and its instance, and then we want the get high score like so. So we've got the high score. And then here obviously we want to set our oops, high score label to the score string. And the last thing that remains to be done, so this video is quite quick and easy really, is we want to see whether when we call the update game over label, whether we need to update the high score label. So what we do is we'll say if and then our game score is greater than the current high score that we've got inside our game manager, then we have a new high score. So what we need to do there then is just take our game manager instance and set the new high score. So call set high score and this is then with our game score. Uh, and the other thing I'm going to do now actually is we'll update the high score label. But one thing I will do I'm going to save the settings to disk. Now I don't do that for the effects and the music settings unless the app's been closed as we've seen in previous videos. But the reason I'm doing it here is high scores are usually the one thing people are bothered about. They're not so bothered if they restart the app and they've lost their effects or music volume settings. And occasionally things crash. They shouldn't but they do. But we'd like to make absolutely sure that right straight away at the end of a game we at least save the high score so that can be retrieved when the user then starts the app in case it fails for whatever reason all of a sudden and doesn't call the um, either app going into background or something like that. So if the app gets killed or something like this then at least we've got we guaranteed we've saved at least the high score inside there. So now that's all done, that's actually everything completed that we need to do. I'm just going to hit build and see if I've made any errors. And now what I'm going to do is fade the video, build the package, and then next thing you'll see is me uh, trying to play the game and set a score whilst filming at the same time. So see you in a bit. Righty-ho. App loading or loaded. And... I'm going to tap the robin now and just play a game and see if we can set a high score. You can see it's a fresh install, so we have zero, so we would have done anyway because it wasn't saving them. And now let's try and at least, I'm sorry if the camera moves, but I'm trying to play the game and hold the camera at the same time, and I'm not coordinated at the best of times. Okay, good. So the robin's let him die. So we've got a score there of one, and uh, the best is now one. So if I just exit the app and restart the app, And you can see now it's retrieved our score of 1 up in the corner there, um, saying the current score is 0. So now let's just play once more, because I also want to deal with the accumulated time for playing the game. So let's see if I can at least score 3 maybe here and get through this uh, little gap here. I'm sorry if the camera's moving, but I'm having to look at the screen a bit here. Okay, good. And now you can see that our best score's been updated to 3. And we're all ready to go. Good, so I'll close the app. And let's go into the console and have a look what the logs actually said there towards the end. So, and here you can see we've got an increment game time JNI. Get game time was returning uh, 17, and now it's been incremented to 34 seconds. So it's saying in total that we've been playing for 34 seconds, and in fact we've played both times by the looks of things for exactly the same time. So it looks like the game time's being updated correctly, and we've already seen that the scores are being updated correctly. Okay then, so that's actually it for this video. Um, I tried to keep it as short as possible. Sorry about again about the copied and pasted code, but it's the easiest way when um, there's so much repetitive stuff. And the game's naturally now in the state that it is on the Play Store. At least I'm pretty sure it is and I haven't missed anything because I obviously released it earlier and now I've been, I've made sort of a sister project to do this. What we'll do then in the next video is we'll actually uh, move into the Play Store, it's, uh, Play Store, yeah, the Play Store itself. And I'll show you how you go about setting up um, an app on the Play Store. Um, 
if you want to do that or interested in doing that. And then once we've got that going, then I'll show you how you go about setting up the leaderboards and achievements, and we can start looking about looking at programming the game services into Simple Flappy Robin. Uh, if you're not interested in that or being having a developer account on Google or anything, then I guess it's probably end of series for you because the game is more or less in a sort of finished, very simple state. Um, and thanks very much for watching and comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.